the frames as it had been published. We have the topic A Storm with God's DNA in it. A storm with God's DNA in it. So now the storm in the title is figuratively describing the problems of this earth, the trials of this earth, and the tests of this earth. But I want us to focus more on the concept of God speaking through these trials. God reminding us through the trials and the problems of this earth that we have strayed away from the path of the Lord. God is reminding us that this land where we dwell has become too straight. And it has become too small. We have strayed away from the path of the Lord. We have strayed away from the divine code of conduct. For now what was wrong is now right in men's eyes. For now what was right in men's eyes. Pattern that thought. For now that which is evil is now right in men's eyes, and that which is good is evil in men's eyes. So God reminding us through his son Christ Jesus who came to this earth. It's like they were, it's like they were trying to inquire when will you start to speak? When will you start to speak to this nation? But the only answer we have is that e the, uh, the only answer we have is ex- eschatology. Is that Jesus depicted certain eschatological events that that really have the DNA of God in it, a DNA that will remind you that brother, sister, We have strayed away from his path and it's time to head back home. The Bible reads, I'm going to read, starting from verse 4, Matthew 24, verse 4, the Bible reads, and Jesus answered and said unto them, take heed. That no man deceives you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Verse 6 And ye shall hear of rumors. Pardon. And ye shall hear of woes and rumors of woes. See that ye not be troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences, earthquakes in diverse places. All these things are the beginning of sorrow. Then shall they deliver you. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then they shall, and then, and then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. Verse eleven. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. Verse 12 And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. 
but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be said. Verse 14, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, then shall the end come. Jesus at the Mount of Olives, seated, supposedly meditating, and then his disciples follow him, trying to inquire, Lord, when shall you begin to speak? Lord, when shall you come? When shall be your return and be? And Jesus answered and said, One one stone shall not remain upon another. That was a prophecy depicting that Jerusalem shall be besieged and shall fall at the hands of the Roman Emperor. The crumbling or the destruction of the temple in Jerusalem that took place in AD 70. And one of the most interesting facts that Jesus begins to bring out, he says, Take heed that no man deceive you. Jesus bringing, recalling what had been stated earlier, he said, He says that there will be human deception in the last, in the last generation, in the last days. There will be deception. And that's what we have seen. There is so much confusion in the Christian world today. Now the storm, as the title says, the storm with God's DNA. God, this E, the storms are a mode God uses to speak to humanity, reminding humanity that it is time up, that you have strayed away from my path, you have strayed away from the divine code of conduct. And he says, so many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. This e Christ here depicts the rise of the Antichrist. The Antichrist simply implies, doesn't mean against Christ, it means in place of Christ. Someone who claims authority in, of Christ. And this has been identified from generation one up to the last generation. The power, the rise of the powers of the papacy. For in, for it is clear in history, they had changed the law of God. And they still admit to have changed the law of God. And today we have seen the, the, the three cultures of the Protestant world and the Evangelicals have, have gone astray. And indeed prophecy has come to pass. Many have been deceived. But this deception is telling us one thing. God is telling us it's time up. It's time up, brother. It's time up, my sister. God's mode of speaking a storm with God's DNA. This is a test to the Christian world. This is a test, a perpetual test, a test that will determine who are we for. The billion dollar question is that, are we with Christ? Oh, oh, are we against Christ? Verse 6, And ye shall hear of walls and rumors of walls. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. 
but the end is not yet. So we have had the rumors of wars. We have had wars in different countries. We have perceived the destruction. Some countries today are in rum shackles because of these wars that have devastated nations and nations. But listen to this. It is God's voice speaking to humanity that greed has taken place of love and the hatred is the order of the day and God is speaking to humanity and telling humanity it's time up. You have been comfortable in this earth too much. A storm with the DNA of God. A storm with God's DNA. And then the text continues to read, For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences, earthquakes in devil's places. We have seen all these natural disasters occurring. Again, God's mode of speaking. God's model speaking again. He is telling us, you have strayed away. And it's time to go home. And this is a time that more than ever, we are supposed to draw ourselves to God that we may have a shelter in the time of storm. Let us prepare because something big is going to hit this F. The pestilence. The pestilences as the text has mentioned them. The famines. The poverty because of pestilences that have hit many places in this earth. Many countries in this earth. Very soon, very soon, many families worldwide who who live below the poverty datum line. That's it, my brothers and my sisters. All these things shall transpire. When we talk of pestilences, we had many of them. We had cholera. Cholera cholera in Zambia had passed. We had World War we among the war among the world among the countries in Africa. We had the Ebola virus. It came and it has passed. Now the world is a Afflicted, the world is engulfed with the coronavirus. The coronavirus has crippled so many nations, and many nations will be crippled in a corner. And very soon, many families in many nations will start to live below the poverty datum line. Again, God's mode of speaking to humanity that you have strayed away. And he is reminding his people that it is time to go home for this earth that well this earth where we dwell and our home for man's purpose on this earth will soon will soon come to a close. And Jesus makes it clear and says, All these things, when you see all these things, it is just the beginning of sorrow. It is just beginning. 
For more pain, more storms, more winds shall blow, shall blow, because God is not done speaking to humanity. He will speak and he will speak until we understand that God's model speaking the storm with God's DNA. These are the things that are having God's DNA in them reminding you and I that time is almost elapsing. For it for if we were playing a soccer game, we are in 90 plus minutes. 90 plus minutes already we will say one minute has already elapsed. And we are remaining with a few minutes. So God is speaking to us. He is telling us that time to get up. Time to wear the armor of God. For things are about to get worse. For things are about to become sour. For things are about to become quagmatic. Therefore, my brother, my sister, this is the time to put on the armor of God. This is the time more than ever to draw to Christ Jesus. For allow me to sing a song in our local language back here in Zambia. And it says, Kampalamine Lesa. Kampala mine lesa Echibu sawa ndine Ulu chelo akasuwa nubushiku Kampala mine lesa Draw closer to God, that's the theme of the song Draw closer to God, for He is the only true friend Early morning, come sunshine, come sunset. He still remains a true friend and he will be a shelter in the time of storm for the hymn writer, the Lord of a rock. In him we trust. He is a shelter in the time of storm, my brothers, my sisters. Let us listen to the voice of God speaking for these storms we see in our daily life. For these trials we see in our daily life. It is the voice of God speaking to us, telling us, reminding us that it is time up. Reminding us again that we have strayed away from the principles and the precepts of God. Shall we move on again? I'll jump to verse 11. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. So we, over these past years, Africa, all Africa specifically, will say, has been engulfed with a lot of men who claim to be prophets, a man who claim to heal diseases, but in this crippling time of this pestilence, where are they? Where are they? They have all gone. They have all gone to hide in their homes. Where are the so-called prophets? Where are they? They claimed by the touch of their hand to heal diseases. But this is a clear-cut manifestation of failing to us that these men and men of God, these men are imposters, these men are fabricates. That's the truth, my brother, my sister. That's the truth. There is nowhere to hide them. There is nowhere to defend them. For they are false prophets. Where are they? 
Where are they? They're all silent. As if we had no prophet. But you shall surely see the truth. When the time this disease, this pestilence shall pass. That's when they shall manifest and say, We were praying to God and this disease has passed. Oh, what a shame, what a shame. Where are the great minds of Africa? Men who want to be bought by fibbles. Men to be, who not be bought or sold. Where are they? Where are the great men? Where are the great minds of Africa? Where are the apologetics? Of this society today, where are the polemicists of this society? Men who would put their mind to task, men who would put their mind to critical analysis, men who would put their minds to critical observation of trying to compare is this true or is just is this just dogma? That's why we gave our association and dogma against human teachings that perfect human thinking. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the kin in all the world for a witness unto all nations then the end shall come God's mode of speaking all stones with God's DNA so brothers and sisters God had spoken in olden days and he is still speaking through these storms of life. He is still speaking to us. When he speaks, he expects his people to hear. So he has spoken. Now it's time for man to realize and turn to God and say, Lord, we have a head. Lord, help us. We are we have exhausted everything. May the good Lord be with us as we enjoy the fellowship of Sabbath worship in our homes. As this was Anti Dogma Platform. Catch us on our YouTube channel and Facebook page. See you there. Bye.